Hey YouTubers, got another video review for you today. Well, as you guys can see, I'm out here on my back porch and uh, I'm uh, just enjoying this beautiful weather. Not. Uh, it's been raining all day, so I figured I would uh, take the time to do a little video right here and why it's uh, nice and dry up underneath this uh, porch area. But uh, as you can see, uh, I've got a Weber uh, 210 Spirit. And this has been a great grill. It's uh, about probably three, maybe four years old. And this is the stainless steel model. And I've been very, very pleased with it. Uh, out of all the grills that I've owned, it's uh, as far as big box store grills, uh, it's been my favorite just simply because it can go a long time on a 20 pound propane tank before it runs out. I'm talking months. And I cook on this thing uh, about five days a week. Uh, I mean, about every night, five, six, uh, sometimes every, every night during the week I cook on this thing because I I really love grilled food. And I know it's probably not the best for you, but oh well, you only live once. But I've run into a little problem, and that is uh, I cook on this thing so much that the, uh, the uh, flavor riser bars on the inside are just gone. You can see that they've rusted through and uh, I've got a big old light right here so you can see down in there but uh, the grill is filthy and I clean it every, every uh, I clean the grates out every time I use it that I cook on but uh, I clean the inside of it about every two months maybe three and uh, so anyways it is pretty filthy and so I've uh, went ahead and sprayed everything down with purple power and I'm cleaning it right now but uh, as you can see, these flavor riser bars are just, they're just rotten. Uh, rust has gotten to them. And uh, f directly from Weber, these bars are just made out of uh, mild steel, just plain steel. And then they're coated with like a porcelain coating. And you might get a couple years out of them and you'll start seeing little pinholes develop. And then once you start getting the first pinhole in them, then they're going to start rusting through really quick and you can see um, the one there on the right is has uh, already just busted through so uh, I went to order some online and the uh, ones through Weber were really expensive and you know I was going to encounter the same problem with uh, it just being regular steel and is going to rust again and wasn't going to last as long so I reached out to a company called Bar the Barbecue Depot and uh, I got some uh, treats I'm going to show you. All right, you can see right there the uh, Barbecue Depot Ultimate Grilling Experience. There's my information. I probably shouldn't have showed you guys that, but I don't think I'll have any stalkers. Nobody wants to stalk a big fat guy. But uh, anyways, uh, I ordered some Flavorizer Bars and these uh, Stainless Steel. And so, uh, you can tell they're high quality stainless, uh, it's nice and thick and, uh, it's nice and shiny. They look great. So, uh, you know, I, I think these should last a long time compared to the, uh, old steel ones. Now, um, I'm sure that, uh, over time, these will probably develop some rust on them. And I know you're saying, you know, stainless steel don't rust. Well, that's not true. Some some stainless steel does rust a little bit and uh, I'm sure they will deteriorate over time but uh, I've heard uh, from several people that uh, the stainless steel flavorizer bars is definitely the way to go because they outlast the uh, porcelain coated ones and, um, by several years several years so anyways I'm gonna go ahead and get my grill all cleaned up and uh, clean all this gunk out of here and then I'm going to come back and show you how to uh, install those bars. It's just really simple. But uh, in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and get all this scraped out of here. And, and uh, I take what I do for that is I take and spray it down with some purple power cleaner. And uh, then I just spray the whole grill inside and out. And uh, then I come just let it sit. And I go back and... And wash it off with a uh, 
or scrub it off with a, a stiff bristle brush and a, use a putty knife to get all the heavy chunks. And then, you know, it'll be nice and clean. So stay tuned. All right, as you guys can see, I've got everything taken out of there. I got the grates removed, the flavorizer bars removed, and uh, I got the tray uh, in the bottom removed. And uh, uh, you can see right through to the propane tank. I've got it all disassembled. And uh, I'm going to give it one more final scrub, but you can see that it's pretty clean. You can see the, the stainless is shining through there. And uh, I'm going to show you uh, just how I, I clean those grates and everything. All right, you can see I've got the uh, upper grate right there um, laid out and the other main uh, grates. And, and then I've got the, uh, the tray and the little catch pan. And... Now I'm just going to go through here and uh, spray everything with a little purple power and uh, just let it sit. You know, you ain't got to do nothing special. Just let it sit. And then uh, if you've got a pressure washer, it works really good. Just hit it with a pressure washer. And uh, these things have come pretty clean. Now, uh, the upper uh, grate right there, that's stainless steel, I believe. And the uh, two lower ones are cast iron. So, um, you know... Uh, a lot of people have problems with uh, the cast iron rusting out as well, but my trick uh, every time I cook is I just take and put a little uh, cooking spray on the grates after I clean them and uh, just put some cooking spray on there and it seems to protect it from, from rusting out as bad. And uh, before, um, I never did that with some of the other grills and after a few years, the uh, grates would just rust out so bad that uh, you'd have to buy some new ones. So as you can see, this cleaner is already doing its work. You can see it's already starting to turn brown and some of that gunk is st starting to fall off there. But uh, anyways, uh, I'm going to hit these with a brush and I'm going to go ahead and install them whenever it's uh, all, all clean and rinsed off properly. Uh, just make sure that if you use some sort of cleaner on there that you rinse it off really good so it don't get in your food. But uh, I'm going to get everything cleaned up and put everything back together and I'm going to install those uh, new flavorizer bars and uh, just stick around for a few minutes and I'll show you how good it looks. All right, well, I got everything cleaned up on the inside of the grill. I took and uh, scraped as much as of the gunk and stuff off as I could and w scrubbed it down with some purple power and uh, I am uh, even took a, a stainless steel brush and uh, I brushed the... Uh, the uh, burners there clean them off and and then i lit it and make sure all the holes uh are, are clear and that they uh ignite and so uh it's uh ready to be assembled now all right guys so uh, as you can see uh, right in here in the grill they've got this little notched out area right there and that's where the flame tamers or flavorizer bars uh, fit perfectly end right in there and then it's the same way on this side and you just replace them there's three of them for this particular model your grill might have more or, uh, I think some of the grills have uh, five but uh, it just depends on which one you have so now you can see I've got all three of the flavorizer bars in there and uh, it looks so much better uh, now uh, the grill can actually do its job so the theory behind these is whenever you're cooking food and juices fall down onto these hot flavorizer bars, it's supposed to uh, um, put some like steam and, and flavor back into uh, into the uh, uh, meat and stuff and make it uh, have more flavor. So, uh, don't know if it works or not. I think it <laughs> all grilled food tastes uh, pretty decent uh, to me. So, uh, I've uh, been cooking with gas grill for a long time and and uh can't really tell any difference in t in taste between one gra gas grill and the next now charcoal grill is a totally different story but anyways uh when you don't have these uh flavorizer bars on here uh it makes it hard to cook on because of the the burners uh just want to ignite all the grease from uh the meat or whatever you're cooking and uh you have a lot of grease fires and so uh, I cook a lot of ribs, and so these are going to be paramount to success for me. So I'm happy to get these on here. So go ahead and stay tuned. I'm going to go ahead and finish um, putting the grates and everything in. I'll show you what all it looks like when I'm done. 
So I just got through uh, getting everything uh, all assembled, and the grill looks as as good as new. Uh, the the uh, cast iron um, grates are are all cleaned up. They've got a little bit of residue still still left on them, but when I go to cook on it, I'll I'll clean all that off. I got his, all the big chunks, the, the best that I could off of it, and got it all cleaned up. And you can see them flavorizer bars just a shining down in there. And so uh, the grill's going to be just as, as good as new. So if you got a, a Weber grill or any other grill that you're looking for some flavorizer bars, uh, just check out the Barbecue Depot. I'll put a link in the description below. And they've got a bunch of different parts for your grill, whether it be igniters and uh, all different types of stuff. Uh, thermometers any kind of hoses i mean just all kinds of stuff they've got a whole website full of uh, grill replacement parts and uh you know you guys uh, if you're on facebook you see somebody got a grill that you know looks to be in pretty decent shape yeah if you can get it cheap enough yeah, especially a weber uh go go get it and and uh check it out and you can usually find a pretty good deal on a used grill and most people don't even uh, realize you can replace the flavor riser bars and the igniters and the burners and all that and it don't cost that much money and then you know as long as the as long as it looks good cosmetically then you know uh, you should be good to go so I expect to get at least another five ten more years out of this grill so um, I might have to replace the burners but uh, I've already got an extra set and so uh, I think uh, you know, once I get everything wiped down, I just rinsed it off with a hose. Once I get everything wiped down, I'll uh, take and apply a coat of wax uh, on on the uh, the tables here and around the base once I get everything cleaned off. And uh, that's how I keep it looking good. And that's why the paint or the powder coats lasted as good as it has on the uh, on the Weber grill. So um, I contributed to just keeping it nice and waxed and clean. So anyways, appreciate you guys watching. And uh, please like and subscribe to the channel. And if there's uh, another uh, part that you'd like to see me review for a grill, uh, if there's anything you need replaced, uh, just put it in the description below and I'll try to get it and replace it. And uh, appreciate you guys watching. So have a good day. Happy grilling. All right, well, it's the following day. And now that I've got the grill all cleaned up, now it's time to do a little cooking. So, got this thing preheated to about 450 degrees. And uh, I went ahead and put the grates back in there. And for you guys that don't know, uh, the flat part of the grates go up if you're cooking meat. And uh, the pointed triangle uh, side of the grates go up if you're cooking delicate items such as uh, fish or vegetables or something that's going to stick really bad so i know that's always a big topic on some of the forums you know which way do the grates go and so uh i hope that clarifies that for you and that's you know off the weber website so not me talking it's uh it's the professionals talking so uh what i'm going to do next is is i'm going to spray uh the uh the grates uh, the cast iron grates with some cooking spray and as you can see there's already starting to be some rust uh, forming there on the grates and that's why I always spray them with the cooking spray because uh, it, it makes them last a lot longer and like I said you know I've had this grill for several years and the grates are not rusted to pieces and uh, yeah it's gonna flame up a little bit but uh, it's no big deal I just lightly spray them just to get a nice little coating on it while it's nice and hot. If you don't feel comfortable spraying it while it's lit, then you can uh, spray it while it's cold. I just forgot. But uh, anyways, I've got my New York strips right here. Got them salted and peppered. That's all you really need on a good steak. And got them grates on nice and hot to sear it. Oh man, listen to that. Yeah, sounds like heaven. Ah, I got another one. So, just a couple minutes and these babies will be all good to go. Alright guys, well, uh, I've got the, get, just got through flipping the steaks and as you can see, got those nice thick grill marks on there and those flavor bar, uh, flavorizer bars are doing their job. You can hear those, uh, the grease falling down on those uh, flavorizer bars and it just, evaporates and uh, 
Yeah, I gotta say that I haven't had any flare ups. It's done really well. It's a night and day difference uh, cooking on it with some new flavorizer bars where they're, you know, those old ones had all the holes and stuff in them and they just weren't doing their job. So it was definitely time. And as you can see, the steaks look great. So fixing to pull these babies off of here and uh, I'm gonna go have me some dinner. Look at that. Oh yeah. So nice and, and medium. So. I'm going to wrap this video up, and I appreciate you guys watching. Y'all have a good day.